Naomi, do you want to talk about some of these new treatments available for KRAS mutated lung cancer? So we have two medications now that can target KRAS G12C mutations. One's called sodoracid, the other is called adagracid. Both are nice because they're pills rather than IV infusions, and both can be quite effective. I think the important concept is not necessarily which pill is better. Always talk to your doctor about it because there are some differences, but the fact that they can be used and are quite effective. I think the other important aspect about KRAS and some of the excitement and research going on right now is how to combine number one KRAS directed therapy like sodoracid and adagracid with other um, treatments in order to make them more effective. I think the other area that of research that's going on that's very exciting is understanding why some cancers grow despite these medications. And finally, the last uh, exciting uh, development more recently is targeting other KRAS mutations. So for example, there's a lot of clinical trials going on targeting KRAS G12D. So it's important to know exactly what kind of KRAS mutation there is. It's always important to ask about treatments directed towards that mutation and important to ask about clinical trials because we're discovering new KRAS mutations and new ways to treat them. One other point to uh, make about sodoracid and adagracid is right now they're only FDA approved for lung cancers that have grown through initial platinum-based therapy. So platinum-based therapy usually means either cisplatin or carboblatin in combination with something else. However, there's a lot of work going on about how we can more effectively use these KRAS inhibitors earlier in treatment. I think it's also important to point out that KRAS mutations, unlike some of the other mutations that we talk about, like EGFR mutations or ALK rearrangements, do not mean that immunotherapies are not effective. So immunotherapy still plays an important role in KRAS mutated lung cancers.